Hey, what's up, guys? Another Doc Beast daily. So, listen, here's something. To, here's something to consider. Um, so, we all have our different religious beliefs, our beliefs about you know sexuality, homosexual, heterosexual, um, our beliefs about drugs, you know whether marijuana is a good thing or bad thing. Um, what else do we have? Beliefs about you know education, whether college is a good thing or bad thing. Um, what else do we have beliefs about political political beliefs republican democrat neither um so here's one thing and you know even beliefs about marriage and stuff like that um and diet so here's what i'm going to suggest um those i mean we all have beliefs some but take time and i'm not saying you have to do this to try to i'm resting you on my knee now i'm not saying you have to do this to, to agree with anybody or disagree with anybody but what i'm saying is um instead of being caught up in your own beliefs you don't even have to make it public you could do it on your own research on your own there's so many things you could do anonymously consider like reading a book or listening to a podcast or talking to somebody with beliefs totally different from yours um for instance if you're a devout christian consider consider uh oops so if you're a devout christian consider you know having a conversation with an atheist or having a conversation with a muslim or Jewish, just consider just having a conversation just to learn about their faith, their faith and what they believe in. And you don't have to come from a standpoint of, I just want to prove that my faith is better than yours. It just come from a standpoint of, okay, you're, you're Jewish. You know, what what exactly do you believe in as a Jewish person? What do you believe in as a, a Muslim person? Um, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, as a Muslim. I'm sorry about saying, uh, making it too calm, too simple. So um, people you know, just just to learn. And there are some things that aren't going to be popular, like people, there are people out there who believe in, you know, marriage and everything. There are people who believe in polyamory and all this craziness. Just have a conversation with them. I'm not saying you, it could change your beliefs. Now, well, now let me let me let me uh, preface this. I'm just saying have a conversation just here their point of view, just how the curiosity, just how the intellectual curiosity. Now, here's the reason why you should have these conversations and maybe some of you who I've lost maybe may come back to me, okay? First of all, sometimes if you have conversations with these people, you get to learn from their point of view and it may solidify your um, reasoning for believing in what you believe. For instance, um, I have a lot of conversations with people um, who don't believe in vaccination for their children. So I just have a conversation with them. Now, why don't you believe in a vaccination for your children? And I don't make it argumentative. What The way I make it not argumentative is, is that um, I'll just ask you questions. And I don't present my point of view. If I'm just asking you a bunch of questions and digesting it, um, I'm not arguing. I'm just learning for you. Now, once I start asking a lot of questions and then start providing answers to your answers, you didn't even, you didn't even ask a question. I asked you a question, you answer it, then I'm providing answers to your answers, then that's when it becomes an argument. And then you provide answers to my answers, then that becomes an argument, um, such when it's emotional. So I just asked a bunch of questions. So what I've learned from, from a lot of people who don't believe in vaccinations, um, and here's and it solidifies what I believe about vaccinations, that a lot of people, and that we can have this discussion, I don't want to get into it, a lot of people who don't believe in vaccinations is because of false information. And that's what I've learned. They're like A lot of people don't believe vaccinations honestly don't even understand the science. Now, I don't want to get into that. I think I just insulted a bunch of people. But that's why you should have some conversations. Sometimes your conversations with people will solidify your own views. It's not to change your views, but just to understand where people are coming from. Um, like when I talk to people about, you know, their beliefs in different other religions. To me, I'll be honest, my conversations with people from other religions just solidifies my own beliefs in my religion, but I still have respect. Now, here's another reason why you should have um, conversations with other people. It will help you respect their decisions, respect their decisions, because you think people believe in certain things because they're crazy or, you know, they're not, um, you know, educated or they're living their life recklessly. You actually learn that, wait a minute, these people actually their belief system is just as logical as yours. It's just coming from a different point of view. Like when I have a conversation with people who believe in legalizing marijuana and all this stuff. So and it's like, okay, these people have reasonable views. I may disagree, but it's still reasonable. It's based in logic, logic that's based in doing good for the most people um, as possible. Whether you talk about legalizing marijuana, these people aren't just interested in just having fun and partying. Like there are people out there who truly believe marijuana has very strong medicine and per per properties. There are people who believe that. And there are people, you know, who are just as devout um, in other religions as I am, even more devout. So 
Um, so you get to understand where they're coming from and it helps you to respect other people's point of view and respect those people. If you have preconceived notions, it helps erase those preconceived notions um, that you have about other people. So just have conversation. Um, a third thing is this where I may lose you guys is that's why I start off with the first two points is that you may actually change your mind. You may have had, maybe you've had views in your life that are based upon falsehood. And then when someone brings like, wait a minute. I was believing in a lie this whole time. Okay, I'm going to change my view. Maybe vaccinations are bad. You know, maybe um, the Republican way of life is better than the Democrat. I'm just using examples. So it, it, you, it, life is about, to me, life is about making yourself better and helping others to be better. So if you learn something, then maybe that's a good thing. You know, maybe that's a good thing. Um for instance, like a lot of people believe breakfast is a necessity. Not exactly if you believe in this thing or intermittent fasting. See, there are things in society where like um, being fed, you have to eat breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. But just listen to somebody who talks about, just listen to somebody who talks about intermittent fasting. Then when you listen to somebody who talks about intermittent fasting where they skip their breakfast and their first meal is their lunch, and you listen to the reason why, you're like, wait a minute. Hmm. You start to change your view and realize, wow, okay. It actually makes sense why it's okay to skip a meal every once in a while. It makes sense. You may change your view and change your view about something may actually help you reach, whether it's an academic goal or a physical fitness goal. It may actually help you because now you learn about a new way of doing something. So just talk to people. Talk to people. Check this out. Maybe talk to somebody will help. Now, I talked about how it'll change you. Maybe you may convince somebody else. You know, you ask a bunch of questions, then they get curious and like, hmm, and they start asking you questions like, you know, I never thought of it that way. So that person who really thought, hey, I don't need to go to college may decide, you know what, I'm going to go to college. Or the person who decides they're going to go to college may say, you know what, I'm going to go to college. So I'm going to be more focused. I'm going to be an entrepreneur because college is not the end all be all. You know, I need real life skills. So maybe I'm going to go to college. But because you asked me these questions about being an entrepreneur, maybe I should invest my time in going to a college that actually has like internships or um, I'll go to college where I'll still start my business on the side, you know, focus on being an entrepreneur, not just going to college to, to just grab a piece of paper just to say, I have a piece of paper. I'm going to go with purpose. So you may actually influence and change somebody else's life once you start talking to people. So, you know, the point of this Doc Beast Daily is talk to people who believe different from you. You never know whose life may change. It may change your life. You may start to understand people better, not look down on people. Just talk to people. Um, um, who believe different from you, even even if you're straight, um, just have a conversation with somebody who's homosexual, who's homosexual, have some, a conversation with somebody who's straight, have some conversation with somebody who's bisexual. I'm not saying just walk to a random person on the street, but if you just so happen to have friends or colleagues um, who um, are in cert into certain age, just to have, just talk to people. There's nothing wrong with talking to people. I'm not asking you to change. I'm not asking you to be all radical. This is not about you being radical. I'm just, this is about free exchange of ideas just to learn about people as much as possible because knowledge will only help you. All right. So, um, talk to people who drastically you would disagree with, who have drastic views different from you. You just never know. You never know. I've listened to a bunch of podcasts that really have challenged my views about multiple things. Like things I probably won't want YouTube or podcasts about because they're so controversial that um, I think I'll lose people. So when I have certain ideas, I tend to talk to people one on one and not have anything recorded because people can take your thoughts out of context. Trust and believe people would take your thoughts out of context. So when I have conversation, I would like to have conversation with people one on one. Therefore, I get direct feedback. I get direct feedback from you asking questions from me and me answering them as opposed to you listening to me on youtube and then drawing your own conclusion i already may get in trouble because of, of this doc beast daily shoot i understand that all right so peace out talk to people who are different